what's going on, my name is CarQ, and today I'm going to present to you five quick map jumps that you should know, followed by a few bonus rocket jumps that are all practical and applicable to your games. Let's get it started on Volskaya Industries. Now, this jump here is not commonly used, so I'd like to think it's mostly unknown. Plant yourself in the corner of the wall and jump until you land on an edge. Simply jump again for the next ledge and once more to reach the roof. I like to call this the Torbjorn jump, the reason being because it's best used with Torb since you can sneak an early turret up here on defense to earn 10-20% to uncontested ultimate charge. Remember that enemies who destroy your turret do not gain ulti charge anymore ever since the Sombra patch, giving yourself an advantage in having Molten Core available earlier. Now, this is not to say the spot is limited to Torbjorn. Heroes with a regular model size such as Soldier 76, McCree, and Ana can all make this jump. However, I find it difficult to justify putting the aforementioned heroes up here since you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable position once you begin shooting since you have no reliable escapes. Big character models like Roadhog and Reinhardt cannot make this jump. The next two jumps are going to be featured on Temple of Anubis. The first one here is very practical when attacking the first point. Walk up to the sandbag here, jump up on the red fabric, and jump again. This jump is very practical if you've already broken the initial line of defense on this high ground, and they've backed off to defend the point itself. DPS users such as McCree and Soldier can take advantage of this high ground and use this pillar as cover while they strafe and deal damage from a very strong angle of attack. This spot is much quicker to get to if you died and are trying to regroup with your team as quick as you can, and it doesn't leave you open and vulnerable from multiple angles from the traditional path underneath the bridge. All characters can make this jump in the game, although it is much harder with large model sizes such as Roadhog and Reinhardt. The ledge on the red tent is a lot less forgiving for characters that have more than half their model size hanging off of it, so be careful when attempting it with the big boys. As a continuation, all characters can actually jump here on this pot, up on the fabric, and then here on this ledge. This one's pretty decent, but it's still not as useful because it puts your back and head in danger of returning enemy defenders from their spawn. However, you can definitely jump up here to mix things up, and certain heroes with movement abilities and rocket jumps can make the final spot here. The next jump on Temple of Anubis should be known by most of the community, but I still fail to see it being used enough by defenders on this map. Just glossing over it quickly, every character can make the broken bridge jump to reach point A from the back alley by jumping onto the middle platform here, and then onto the other half of the broken bridge. Jumps number 4 and 5 are going to be featured on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Again, these jumps should be known by most of you, but I'm just going to briefly feature and demonstrate them here to make sure. Every character can make the jump to this middle platform up top here, which is very commonly used to begin a Reinhardt shield war against the opponents moving the payload. The next one is on top of the aircraft. Jump on the first box here, then onto the orange tarp, and then finally onto the wing of the plane. This spot is frequently used by Soldier 76 as it gives you the highest ground possible and allows you to watch all four entrances for your team. Now onto the bonus jumps. I'm going to cover rocket jumps, first one from Soldier 76 followed by a few from Zarya. The spot up here on this house is actually a very practical and viable spot for Soldier to perch himself and deal damage to the choke and anybody peeking out the window to the right. To make it up here, come into the back corner and shoot your helix rockets at your feet, followed by a jump and sprint forward as soon as the rockets hit the floor. Sprint up and jump to the next layer, and then to make it to the top you have to sprint and jump up from the corner here. Now this corner jump to make it to the top is a little difficult to perfect, so honestly I recommend just waiting for your helix rocket cooldown and rocket jumping yourself to the top if you aren't consistent with it. You should have enough time to make these two rocket jumps and have yourself healed before the game begins. The next few spots are from Zarya, and are only attainable by rocket jumping. Again, following the principles from Soldier, shoot the floor below you, followed by a jump as quick as you can. This one here on Watchpoint Gibraltar allows you to get yourself out of a sticky situation. Similarly on Dorado, you can rocket jump off the stairs here and onto the high ground if you find yourself in an intense fight underneath the archway. And finally, my favorite spot as shown by Zunba from Team South Korea in the Overwatch World Cup. Korea has swapped Eska over to the Reaper now, which I think is a good change. The Reaper generally doing a little bit better in this third part. And wow, Graviton Surge Zumba goes in! Big aggressive move by South Korea. Will it pay off though? Looks like it is so far. Kills coming in, there's the Dragon Blade, the Nano Boost on Arhan, and they absolutely wreck USA. South Korea. This spot is great for creating a new angle to initiate a Graviton Surge from, when teams are correctly guarding both entrances on this map. You actually don't need to do what Zunba did and rocket jump two times to these wooden platforms. You can actually walk up to the crumbled wall here and jump up the ledges to the top instead. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my map jump video. Thank you guys for watching and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you enjoy my content and additionally I'll be making an announcement at 1000 subs. Take care.